In this tutorial, we will learn how to generate a 1D signal in MATLAB and what happens when we repeatedly apply convolution of a 1D signal with itself. Let's generate a 1D signal first. And visualize the signal using I am show function. This is the one dimensional signal we have generated. It has 64 different rows and one column. To understand better, let's change the value of column from 1 to 64 and see what happens. Changing the value of the row from 64 to 100. You can see the height of the rectangle has increased. So the concept of signal generating in MATLAB is clear. Let's get it back to a one-dimensional signal. Let's normalize the value of this signal. Here, using s1 dot slash sum s1, I'm normalizing the value of the signal S1. It's time to perform the convolution on the signal. To perform the convolution, we have to use the conv function of MATLAB. I'm convoluting the signal with itself. Let's normalize the value of the convoluted signal. Now, we will perform another convolution on the normalized value of the first convolution. After that, we'll normalize this value as well. Now, performing the third convolution and normalizing the value. Now, we will plot all of the normalized values using the subplot function of MATLAB. Let's run the program. The first figure shows the 1D signal that we generated. The second figure shows the effect of first convolution. The third figure shows the effect of second convolution. And the fourth figure shows the effect of third convolution. We can see how quickly this one-dimensional signal approaches the form of normal distribution. It also illustrates the central limit theorem of statistics.